Hello, I'm Ashley from Through the Loop Yarn Craft, and today we are going to make the Farmhouse Candle Cozy. These candle cozies are really quick and cute and easy to make. They're great just to add a little extra farmhouse flair to candles that you may already have laying around the house, or if you're looking to add some new decor, as you can see, I have them on these flameless candles. I bought this three pack just on Amazon and I will link to that below as well. They actually look really quite real and they're really nice and easy and inexpensive as well. For the farmhouse candle cozies, they use about 20 to 30 yards of yarn, depending what size you're making. I have three sizes that I have made for the three different heights of the candles. I've just used a worsted weight cotton yarn and I used Dishy in the color Mushroom, which is a color that I've been just loving lately. I'm also using a five millimeter Furl's Odyssey crochet hook. And for this pattern, we are going to work in continuous rounds. So you may find it easier if you have a stitch marker handy to mark your mark your place. The candles I'm using are all a nine inch circumference and the small is four inches high, the medium was five inches high, and the large was the six inches high. So the finished size of the cozies are all going to be four inches across lying flat and two inches high for the small, two and a half inches high for the medium, and three inches high for the tallest one. If you have different sized candles, I've made them kind of about a quarter of the way up each candle. Because we're working in the continuous rounds, you can just make them as tall and as you'd like and just keep repeating the pattern. While you're here, I invite you to hit that like and subscribe button. Let you know, let me know that you are enjoying the tutorial and pop on over after this video and check out some of my others. Again, all my materials will be listed in the description so you can check them out. So with that, let's grab our supplies and make the farmhouse candle cozy. Okay, so for this tutorial, we are going to make the small. However, I will let you know what you need to do to make the medium and the large as well. It's not much difference. It's just the amount of rounds for the height of those ones. But everything else will be the same. So we're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain 29. And 29. So now we're going to join our chain to make a circle and this is what's going to fit around our candle. So we're just going to make sure we keep that knot twisted nice and straight and we're just going to bring the end up and link it to that first loop there, yarn over and just pull through to join them and then we will chain one and now we have our closed circle that will fit around the candle. So round one, we're going to start in that same loop that we just linked and we're going to be doing a half double crochet slip stitches around the chain. If you're unfamiliar with the half double crochet slip stitch, you can check out one of my stitch tutorials that also goes over the stitch and I will link that below as well. So we're going to yarn over and just go into that first stitch or first chain and we're going to bring up that loop and then we're just going to pull that loop through without yarning over. Again, if you want more detailed description on the half double crochet slip stitch, just check out the other tutorial. So we're just going to continue to half double crochet slip stitch all the way around the chain and we want a total of 29 stitches.
So here I have my 29 stitches along my chain. So for round two here, because we're not, we are working in continuous rounds, so we're not going to slip stitch to join this round together. For round two, we are also going to change it up a little bit to a half double crochet slip stitch in the back loop only. So when we're going around, we are going to insert our hook into the V using the back loop only and not under both loops. Again, you can find more information in my back half double crochet slip stitch tutorial uh, if you need a little bit more help with that part. So we're going to yarn over using that back loop only, pull up and pull through two loops. And that is our first stitch of round two. This is where it can be handy to have a stitch marker so you can always remember where your starting point was. So you can just dip, put your stitch marker right in that first stitch so that you know where the starting point is. And now we're just gonna do a half double crochet slip stitch in the back loop only all the way around. So here I have my 29 stitches for round two completed and we are ready for round three. So round three to 10 for the small size are exactly the same as round two. We're just gonna be repeat round two and we're gonna half double crochet slip stitch in the back loop only in each stitch round for 29 stitches each until we've hit 10 rounds or the two inches in height, whichever works out easier for you going by Measurements can make it easier because you don't necessarily need to count your rounds. You can just keep going in a circle until you've reached your desired height. If you do want to make this for the medium and the large, for the medium I did 12 rounds and for the large I did 14. So again, you can just judge on the height that you like the best and just keep going until you get that height. So I'm going to get ready to move on to round three. So just yarn over and I just took out my stitch marker for where that first stitch was. Insert. And there we go. And if you need to go ahead and put your stitch marker back in that first stitch. So you always know where to begin and just continue around rows three to ten with the half double crochet slip stitch back loop only. Right, so I have finished my 10 rounds. So on that last round, we are going to slip stitch to the next stitch to finish it off and join that together. And then we can tie that off. And that is done. So that's our small cozy and then we can weave in our ads. 
Now you can just leave it like this if you'd like to. I really liked the added little touch of the bow, which was really simple to make. So we will just do that quickly. We're just gonna cut a little piece of yarn here. Not too long, just enough to make a bow. I'm gonna use my yarn needle. So I'm just going to thread that through my yarn needle just a little bit uh, so we can attach it. We're just going to hook it right onto one of these top stitches here. And I'm just going to wrap it right around the little post of that top stitch and pull that through, not all the way. Then we can get rid of that. And I'm just going to kind of even that out a bit. And we're just gonna make a bow, just a regular old bow. However you make your bows or the best way you know how. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger because we can always adjust the size. And then pull that tight. From here, you can adjust the size then of your loops of your bow and just play with that to see the right size there. And once you're happy with your bow, you can just trim the ends. And there we go. We've got our finished candle cozy and that's ready to go on your candle. So we weave in all our ends, get it on our candle, and we're ready to go. Thank you so much for joining me today making the farmhouse candle cozy. Again, if you need any more detail, you can check out uh, the all the written information over on my blog, and that is linked below. I will also have a reminder of the different sizes and heights for the three versions. While you're there, you can also subscribe to the Loop newsletter and stay up to date with all things through the Loop. I do hope you enjoy your farmhouse candle cozies and I'd love to see pictures of your finished ones. You can always tag me on social medias so I can check yours out as well. Before you go, please hit that like and subscribe button and let me know that you are enjoying the tutorials. Thanks again, happy crocheting, and I'll see you next time.